Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today we're going to have a look at the Pacer Adventure app. So this is another running GPS metal tallying app that is an all-inclusive system in itself, as well as a pace counter as well, if that's what you're into. So let's jump in and take a look at it now. Okay, so here we have our little main screen that we come up to when we first start. So you can see I've already done 33 minutes active time today, burned 324 calories and traveled 4 k's. And here you've got my active challenge that I've got. And you can see where I'm at with other people on there. I don't actually have any friends that are using this app as well, so oh well. Then to start any activity we just tap in the middle there, tap start, and we've got where we can do walk, hike, run, ride, up the top there. Uh, so our audio cues. Now this is where it comes a little bit dodgy compared to the others. So let's say I want to have a go on my pace. I've got to sign up for the premium, which I haven't done yet, but I'll be doing a little bit of a follow up in this video as well on what that is about. So we've got any routes that we've done, any tracks. So there's perioval that someone's done. There's a little Knobles loop thing. We zoom right out. There seems to be a whole bunch of people up on the Gold Coast or around the Gold Coast area that use it as well. And we've got our history. So here we can see all the activity that we've done so far. So then we can go and jump into our settings. So we've got our GPS settings, show on lock screen, whether you want to keep the screen active or not, and all these other ones that are going to require premium membership. So if we just hit start, we get a little bit of a countdown. Two, one. Activity started. Now, the voice on this is a little bit dodgy, as you'll find out when I hit uh, five minutes here. Time five minutes. Distance 0 0.04 kilometer. Activity but paused. Apparently I've done 20 meters. Cool. Finish. Discard. Up at the top you can see the date. I think it might actually show you. Yeah, how many steps you did on each day and here you've got a message from my coach suggest a plan if I choose this plan I need premium so there are a lot of benefits to premium as well as I'll get into now you've got all the people who like your followers your comments your groups as well if you've got other people using the app now here to battery optimization but I want that because this app will drain your battery I found it does quite a good job at draining it now there's any trends that you can have a look at for yourself over the past 30 days, 6 months. There's me, my ID and everything else on there, walking programs, whatever the case is, and the feed. So here we've got people who are uploading to this. So you'll probably find it's a lot of the same sort of people. But now here you can register for different apps as well on their explore, as well as different challenges. All the different groups, routes, and any corporate things that you want to join into as well. So it really is quite a robust little app for what it's got. You can have a look at your GPS where you are, you can have a look at all different sorts of workouts, and they'll take a little bit of time or whatever. You know, if I want to join that, yeah, of course. But $6.99 a month for that doesn't seem like a ridiculous amount. I mean, hell, you pay a lot more for the gym just to be able to access the gym a week than you would for this app. So, yeah, I'm gonna give it a pass on that. And you can get all your features here. So then, what sets this one apart? Well, for starters, they, you can choose when you get your medal. So, I got mine sent directly, not but after I finished the challenge, so that it'd be here sort of in time for the review, hopefully. And it did, it arrived yesterday, on the 11th of the 11th. After starting this, I don't know, about a month or so ago, because who knows what postage is gonna do these days. Got that, ready to unbox, I haven't touched it yet, so I'll be doing that very shortly as well. And also I'm gonna try premium as well. The thing is, with this one, everything is all included in the one app. So unlike the Conqueror ones, where you use your Runkeeper, your Adidas, or whatever your favorite tracker is, it'll enter it in from that app. So you need to be able to use those apps, or have two apps running. Here it's just all in the one. Now that's good in one way, it keeps that and it keeps your paces and everything else. The thing about the paces is it, I 
discount it because there are times where I just don't have my phone with me, especially at work. I'm running around in between rooms doing heaps of steps, but my phone's just sitting on a desk. It's not adding up. So if you keep that with you, cool. If not, then it's pretty useless. I do like that it's a bit of a widget that you can just always see on there. You got an idea of how many steps you're taking and how far you're traveling for the day. And it resets and it tells you yesterday's score as well. So that's always pretty cool. But coming back to everything being included in the app, the only downside or the really only downside thing is that one, you need premium to be able to adjust the settings on it. Whereas with the others, it's free. You can adjust it for distance and whatever else where the voice comes in and chimes in for you. Being more competitive with your running, even if it's just you improving yourself, that distance over 500 meters or in five minutes, two minutes, whatever the case may be, you need to pay for premium for, to be able to do that. And also too, if you're in a group keeping yourself accountable for everything or you're doing one of these challenges, you need to use this app. So you can't post your distances or times or anything and see your friends in there as well unless they're using this app as well. So you either get everybody to change over to it or you just go ghosting on those other apps for a little while unless you can run two at the same time, but why would you want to do that and cause even more drain on your battery? But other than that, let's now jump forward into the premium. Okay, so here we are a day after doing the initial part of the review with our premium subscription. So as you can see, I've completed my challenge. I've got a little thing that comes up after that and they send you a nice little certificate as well. The things that have changed are that you can change your audio cues. So here you can add your time, distance, pace, steps and calories to the whatever readout you get as you can now get it on a frequency feedback. So I've gone for 500 meters because that's yeah pretty good for me. Or you can go 1 minute, 5, 10, 15 or 1 kilometer, 2 kilometers for those bigger runs. Now some of the things I've found with the premium version is that it drains your battery even more because it keeps a little screen on there which is quite handy don't get me wrong of your time and your distance so you can always just look at your phone screen if you're carrying it in your hands or if you've got it somewhere that you can look at it and you've got your TTS text-to-speech output so your TTS Sam telling text-to-speech engine language so you can change no you can't but anyway for some reason that wants to use my Wi-Fi I don't know why but anyway so that's your GPS settings there with your audio cues and your routes. You can look at all different routes around the place still. Now your workouts are the other big thing that are included in the premium version. So you can join these little things. Now these are quite easy little workouts to either get rid of fat uh, or go from walking to jogging. Now, so I've joined this one. So here you get five minutes for a warm up run and you can have a look and see what you're actually going to be doing. So then you go at a steady pace for one minute, walk for two, steady pace one, walk for two, all the way up to eight weeks in, day three, where you go five, steady pace for five minutes, high intensity for 30, walk for one, and ad nauseum for 49 minutes. Now here you get your little workouts as well. So you've got a seven minute workout, that has all your little different bits and pieces that you'll be doing. So once we start... Welcome to Pacer's Guided Workout Plans. First exercise, jumping jacks. Stay on your toes. And so we get a little bit of a video workout of Keep what to do. slightly bent. And with audio cues about how to perform the exercises. Keep your core engaged and focus on form and balance. Keep going. Get your heart rate up. Now with this one you can pause it, but you can't actually skip the exercise, which I mean I get, but if you can't do that, exercise. then what's the point? So yeah, that's that one. And you've got all different ones. So an office arm one, you've got stretching, and if you hit that, it gives you a little bit of a text info about how to perform the exercise as well. So that's really good. And you've got your workout history. So one workout, 19 calories, seven minute workout, yep, cool. You've got nine minute killer abs. So unfortunately, there's not a lot of variety in the workouts that are offered here, which is something that I would like to see more of, but maybe in the future with them. And then you get your coach as well. 
So my coach, based on my current plan, I should eat this uh, weight. We can have a look at and analyze my weight. My weight hasn't changed, blah, blah, blah. Activity, I've done X amount. Yep, I have two days left to reach my target, blah, blah, blah. And any tips. So if I say hello, good job, downloading app and finding page, thanks, yep, cool. And you get a little text thing there to go through it. So really that's the premium version in a nutshell. A few little extras and for if you join a special thing for $3 or $6 a month or whatever it is, it's really good value, really. It seems like you get an accurate GPS, a more accurate GPS, and I mean, it is a pretty good app. This one, even though they're, it's all contained in the one, you can't share a lot of stuff, there are plenty of groups to join and everything else as well with it. It has a Facebook community as well, so I'm pretty happy with it. The medals and all that seem a lot cheaper than the Conqueror ones as well. So you get those challenges and you can do those and it's all contained within the one app, so it all does that. They come in a nicer package, I find, <laughs> as well, and it's just those nice little touches. Would I recommend it if I wasn't doing the challenges? Probably not just from the GPS standpoint. I don't like it, you can only choose one readout. I like with RunKeeper that I've got the 5 minute and the 500 meter. So every time I hit 500 meters it'll tell me. Every time I hit 5 minutes or 5 minute intervals it'll tell me. So I like those as well. Other than that, and the voice kind of sucks on this one as well. But other than that, it seems like a really good value, really good package. And you get your little pedometer as well. So all up, I'd give it an 8. Almost an 8. There are little improvements that I'd love to see on it. More workout varieties more things like that, but it is a pretty robust little app. I haven't had any issues tracking or doing anything with it so far. So I'm pretty happy with it. Will I keep going with it? Probably not. Probably not right now. Here is oh, a bit of grease on it already. So here, our little pacer box that our metal comes in. Little magnetic flappy bit. There we go. Oh, there's a card, apparently. It's a little thank you links and find us on Facebook. Too easy. Okay, so we got a nice little bit of artwork there. Take a little bit of foam out of the way and we have our metal. So yep, nothing else in the box, but it's a nice little display box. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so here we have our metal. Now the reason I got this one too, oh yeah, you got a little in here in the back because all the planets revolve around the sun. Yeah, not a bad little metal. Now comparing the two, they're yeah, roughly about the same size. This one's a little bit bigger obviously, but this one has a little bit of moving parts and a little bit more detail. Both have similar length ribbons on them, both the same thickness everything so yeah pretty good all up I'd yeah everything moves on it or whatever it's not like a real metal that you get from a real thing but feels solid good quality hey we'll do again or even try out some of their other ones but I do like the little box as well because there you can display it and especially a lot more easily than with the Conqueror ones you get a nice little box straight out of the package and I mean, if you get more of them, you can just line them all up and go through them or somehow learn how to display them in their own little package and you know where they came from. Oh, hello. Just noticed that there is a bit of damage or something on mine here. I'm just playing with it. Like something's been cut out. There, so, eh, I don't know what that's about, but anyway. That is the metal. What are you? What is your experience with it? How have you found this out? But anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and share your experience with Pacer Adventure App. But until next time, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video.